Wow, nice. <laughs> All right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel, or hello if you're new. Let me turn on some lights, actually. It's really dark out there. Um, as you can see outside, actually, it is starting to snow. We're having a snowstorm overnight tonight, so that should be fun. Maybe we'll have a um, snow day tomorrow. Tomorrow's my last day of school before the Christmas break as well. And um, today I got a new stick in the mail. It looks like we're going to unbox this thing, and I'm going to do a full review of it. Um, when I wake up tomorrow, I'm hopefully going to be taking some shots with it. So, yeah, let's unbox the stick, and um, I'll let you guys know what my first thoughts are of the twig. But let's go inside, and, uh, yeah, put the camera down and unbox this thing. All right, so let's get into the unboxing of this. Also, I got a new Toronto Maple Leafs jersey the other day as an early Christmas present. So um, shout out to my aunt for that. Um, it's pretty sweet. Austin Matthews, number 34 on the back. Um, I'm really enjoying it. And the Leafs actually took the L last night, so I'm not too happy. Obviously, I think I know what it is. It's from Reckless Hockey. Here it is here. And it looks like some pretty sick graphics, actually. It's called the Transgression from Reckless Hockey. Um, this thing is actually pretty light. I'm surprised at how light this is. I thought it would be a little more bottom heavy. But um, this thing is 75 flex. Um, all right, right-handed 92 um, curve profile. Um, it feels pretty light. I got it in senior, and apparently all the hype about the stick is that it is very um, whippy, but not like a noodle. It apparently has a really good flex pro, uh, flex point to it. So I'm gonna put that to the test tomorrow. Um, right now I'm obviously just doing the unboxing, but um, I got it in non-grip. Unfortunately, they didn't have any um, transgressions with grip left in stock, so I had to settle for non-grip, which is no big deal. I hope they send me another one with grip when they have the opportunity. But my first thoughts are actually, I love the graphics, first off. It looks like a little paint splatter throughout the whole stick, and it feels pretty light. Um, the flex feels like a 65, not really like a 75, but that's what they're going after. This stick's actually made on a bulletproof material. Uh, I'm gonna go into more in depth tomorrow about the stick. Um, so far, I like it. Obviously, I haven't taken any shots with it yet, so I can't tell you guys what I think. But um, we're going to cut to the clip, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow in the morning, and we'll see um, what this stick's all about. Slow. 
Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that shooting video. Also, sorry, I just got on the shower, so that's why my hair is wet. But my first thoughts while shooting with the stick were very positive, actually. It felt, the puck felt really uh, good on the stick, and the shots were coming off really quick with that really whippy um, shaft. Um, so, a few things that Reckless Hockey told me to tell you guys about their company. Um, they're made up by two military veteran hockey dads, so that's pretty cool. They've been in the business before. Their stick comes to retail for $249.99 American and cost to replace it is $150 USD as well. This stick is designed for players who like a whippier stick, not really like a noodle. So I, um, for myself, I really like whippy sticks. I know Phil Kessel and a lot of players in the NHL like those types of sticks to get a better shot off. If you guys are that type of person, I would really recommend trying this out. The stick is made out of a carbon and aramid um, hockey material, it which is used in like bulletproof vests and stuff. So that's where the bulletproof comes from. It's um, apparently very durable. I haven't actually had the chance to obviously test the durability yet because I've just unboxed the stick for only for a few shots. This is a unique technology only used in this hockey stick on the market so um, I look to see how they advance their sticks in the future. It should be pretty interesting with such um, innovative technology. Um, like I said I really did enjoy the stick when I first started using it. I'll probably give it a solid 8 out of 10. The feel on the stick was very nice. Um, felt like a really high-end hockey stick. So if you guys do want to try this out I'll leave a link below to their website or their Instagram. Just check them in the description. Um, also I hope you guys enjoyed the video of course as always and if you did enjoy be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel because we post new hockey videos every single week. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you next time. If I don't upload before Christmas I hope you have a Merry Merry Christmas. I'm um, right now it's the 23rd so if I don't again if I don't upload Merry Christmas to all you guys and if you don't celebrate it then just have a happy holidays I guess and um, yeah I'll catch you guys next time and peace.